No, I shot the fireball back. Get him. Yeah, long shot. This guy's still alive. Double kill. <laughs> there we go. Hello everyone and welcome to Firepower Studio where today I'm coming at you guys with yet another Minecraft survival games on the Xbox One. Let's go ahead and jump right into this thing. So right now what we're about to do is uh... I've been doing a little bit of stuff off camera to try to fix up our little water slide and watchtower from last episode. So if we head up to the roof right now, we're going to go take a look at it, place down our TNTs, if I can actually get the TNTs to place down, little pocket of four, line it up perfect. I found out that I have to look directly like smack dab on top of this uh, pole, otherwise this does not work. So. I gotta make it perfect. I don't want to waste my TNT. All right, so let's go uh, take a look up here, and I want to show you guys what I did. So we're up here, and whoa, that actually got me pretty high. It usually doesn't do that. So here's the watchtower. As you can see, I added some more windows on this side, and the floor, and a roof. So a little bit of stuff's been done to it. Let's go take a look at it. Come up here up the ladder, and you can see that I have officially glassed it all in and made it look a lot better. And now you can actually see out. Um, I went ahead and took the extra time of mining sand over there because I just I like being able to come up to the edge and actually see from right there all the way out instead of, you know, being able to see from like this level right here up. So I, I decided against so I was like, you know, it's a waste of glass. But in the end, I was like, I, I think that's how I like it. But then you come over here and here's our little water slide. You can see that we've got the little exit hole right there. You just come up here and you just slide down the water slide woohoo, into this nice pool. And right now, as you can see, there's a ton of glowstone chilling right here, which leads us to what we're going to be doing today, guys. We're going to be heading into the nether. I actually used the last of my glowstone that I had here and also had to go get a little bit more in the nether in order to make this whole little thing possible and I uh, came upon the realization that our nether game is weak right now. We need to step up the nether game, you know, build maybe a fortress or a fort, get a little bit of some walking paths going, maybe some torch trails that lead us to some dope places. And then over here, you know, we got our jacuzzi, went ahead and put the, uh, the little slabs up so you could get in and out very easy but yeah there it is there is the uh, watch tower and the swimming pools and honestly in all honesty I think it's looking awesome like I mean who wouldn't want to chill here right now fail who wouldn't want to chill in this place right now like look at it looks so sweet got the fountain out front and just a just a dope looking house all right now right now the thing that kind of is the main factor in this whole nether adventure is my armor as you can see right now my armor is super low and completely about to just fall off and we're sitting on top of 36 levels so I thought you know let's use some of these diamonds we found let's use some of this iron we found let's make all new brand new armor Let's go enchant it, all level 1 enchantment, see what we can get ourselves. And uh, hopefully we can come out with a new set of armor because the nether is dangerous, all those mobs in there. So what I'm going to do is, here's my diamonds. I'm going to use as many diamonds as I can and we'll fill the rest with iron. I'm going to make a chest plate straight up because I know that takes 8. So now we have 9 left. We can either make a pair of pants, which takes 7. We'll be left with 2 diamonds, so you know maybe that's a, that's a new diamond sword. We can make boots, which is four diamonds, which would leave us with five. And that'll also give us a chance to build a helmet. So I can either make pants or a helmet and boots. And um, right now, I think the best bet, just because diamond armor lasts so long, it's going to stay with us for the longest time. Um, I'm going to go with a helmet and boots. Now we're completely out of diamonds. Yikes, that's not a good sign. Actually, I think maybe at the old house I have like three or four, just in case we need a new pickaxe. But we're going to have to spend another episode here soon making all new armor. All right, now the last thing I need is another pair of uh, pantalones. So let's go ahead, grab our pants. So here's our new full set of armor. Now what we're going to do is we're going to head over to our old house where our uh, enchantment station is, and we're going to go enchant these things. All right, so here we go. We're headed in. Let's go ahead and enchant this armor. Let's see what we can get. I'm putting level 1s on all of them because, you know, level 1s and level 2s are kind of sketchy. I don't want to, like advanced levels on these different sets of armor until I can put up some bookshelves and know for sure that I'm gonna get something decent because um, on this set of armor that I'm wearing right now which we're about to just uh, oops how do I drop it there's gotta be a way to drop it um 
I, I guess you can't just dump it off you. Oh, I guess you can do that. But um, before uh, when we did this armor, I put like a level two on my chest plate and still got projectile projection one on all of them. So we're not gonna risk it this time, and we're just gonna dump it out here. I don't want it. I want it to die. I want it to go away. So we're gonna leave it out here to just disappear and vanish on its own. Now let's go ahead and enchant our armor. Let's start and go from top, bottom to top. We'll start with our boots. Put a level one on it. Which level one looks better? Maybe this one. It's probably going to just be, oh, protection one. That's what I want on all of these. That's kind of the goal, is protection one. So I'm happy with protection one. Don't really want project. See, look at that. I can get a level seven, but I don't think that's going to do anything. So we're going to put a level one on it. Projectile protection, not very good. Not what I wanted. Chest plate, should we risk a level two on it? Or are we going to get protection one and be disappointed? Let's find out. Protection one. See, that's what I was talking about. Maybe if we went up to level seven, we might get something different, but who knows. And protection one again. Okay, so here's our new set of armor looking super dope. We're only missing half an armor bar, so we're pretty much a full armor right now. Looking very, very nice. Oh, the sun is going down, so we might go ahead and... Uh, for old time's sake, just sleep here. We don't need to sleep, but uh, it's just an old time's sake. Like coming home from college, you know, you get to sleep in your own bed again. And it's all good fun. This is our old classic bed. We want to avoid that dirty garbage loot. But um, before we go, before I left, I grabbed a whole bunch of stacks of cobblestone. Because in the nether, gas can't blow your cobblestone up. So I was like, grab it. Grab it all. And then uh, before we go, let's grab and farm some of this wheat so we have food. And now we'll come over to this crafting table if we can actually get to it. Ah, picked up all the loot. And uh, we'll make a uh, as many pieces of bread as we can. Nine pieces of bread, not bad. And in this corner, we will dump the garbage loot. I wish there was a way to just toss it. I feel like there was a way to quick toss it, but oh well. We'll figure it out later. All right, so this is what we're looking at sitting on with. I think I can make a fire resistance potion. If we can do that, then we're set. Here's my potions. Yes, I think this makes fire resistance. So let's go ahead and try to make a fire resistance potion by dropping these bottles on, adding a piece of nether wart. And now we add our magma cream. And there we go, fire resistance for three minutes. But I think I'm going to add a piece of glowstone. Glowstone or redstone, guys? I'm not sure. We'll find out. I think I want to make it last for eight minutes instead of three. Let's see which one glowstone does. All right. And glowstone is the uh, the double effect. So I guess we'll have to take a few bottles in with us. Um, and redstone apparently is what makes it last longer. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to drink our fire resistance potion. Leave the bottle here. You know, don't want to fill up the inventory too crazy wild. Drink our swiftness. Toss it. Leave it here. And then come in here real quick and put back our magma cream. And I still have a glowstone. I know I said I was out. I thought I was out. But I guess I only used my blocks. I forgot I had dust in there. All right. Um, And on the hot bar, we don't need a shovel in there unless we're going. We don't need even need an axe in there so whenever we run out of our fire resistance we have it ready okay I don't remember coming here we've we came here early on like one of the first few episodes and um, so that's how I remember coming here oh he's gonna put it out oh no dip go away go away go away no I don't have anything to relight it. I just realized I do not have anything to relight it. And I know there's a way to relight it if you need to or want to. But, um, ooh, fire resistance is going to work already. But, uh, I don't know how to do it. There's one way to do it when you're stuck in the nether to put it back together. Oh, I thought he was going to fly. Oh, I hit it. He flew up right into my arrow. Oh, it's two shots. My power one bow goes ham. So, right now, we're, we're decked. Like, nobody's messing with us. Nobody can touch us, so that's that's good. That's always a good thing to have a confidence booster of nobody hurting or messing with you. But what we have to do real quick is we are going to throw up ourselves a throw up, not throw up, but I mean throw a throw up a uh, a little fortress around this thing out of our cobblestone. We grab the cobblestone and now we'll mine away some of this. And you know it's not going to be anything too fancy, just sort of like a little little um area where we can chill hang out and not get blown up and not have to reignite this thing 
Because I honestly did not think about that at all whatsoever. I could probably leave this here, but let's just go ahead and fill in this roof like so. And, um, yeah, I think this is going to do the trick. I wish I could... I mean, I can put some doors on here if I wanted to or if I needed to. I don't think I need to, though. Um, put doors on the front. I think I can just leave it a gap, and that should be good to go. Oh, all right, we got to hurry and put this up. A ghast is attempting to blow us up. And I'm out of fire resistance already, so I've kind of already wasted some of my time in here. Um, so we'll drink this fire resistance, then I'm going to fill in this last bit with nether. I know it can get blown up, but I don't think we're going to put ourselves in a position where that's going to matter or affect this. All right, this is going to make me mad. This wall is only one away, and this wall isn't, so let's go cover this up. Um, I'm lame, guys. I'm sorry. I just am picky like that. And then another thing that's going to annoy me is one, two, three, and then on the front, it's one, two. So let's go ahead and cover this back wall. You guys are probably like, wow, really, was it worth it? And honestly, it is, because... If it's not symmetrical, then what's the point? And there's one on this side, one on this side. There we go. So this is our little room. Perfect little room. Uh, put some torches in here. I'm, I know it doesn't really matter because we've got the uh, bright lights from the portal. But there we go. There's our little hut. And let's go kill this stupid ghast. Where's he? Oh, too high? Too high. And smack the ball back. Oh, couldn't smack the ball back. But it doesn't matter because I have fire resistance. Oh, I got that one back. Is it going to kill him? Oh, no, it's not. Dude, chill. You're blowing up my fort. We just worked on it. Oh, I hit it back. Oh, <laughs> and I'm wasting my arrows right now. All right, let's see if he drops a ghast tier. All right, now the next thing that I need to worry about and work on after I kill this guy, I'm off with the arrow shots. It's so much harder to shoot arrows on the Xbox than it is on PC. On the PC, out with my bow, I feel like, like a uh, professional bow shooter, like Hawkeye or something. Come on. Kill him with it. Kill him with his own medicine. Give him a taste of his own weapon in. Weapon in. Medicine. Weapon in. Alright. Now here's what's got to happen. So. There's our little fort. With our little. Our little. uh, I don't know. Portal. Hut. Thing. And now what we got to do. Is. We got to. Make a. Path. So that way we know exactly what's happening at all times. And we're going to do it with torches. Eventually, when I get the supplies, we're going to do it with... Actually, right now, let's go ahead and dig this out real quick. And now fill it back in real quick. And now line it with torches. I mean, I don't, it doesn't need to be this many torches. I'm probably going to run out of torches trying to line it up. But, you know, just kind of get the idea that this will be all torched out. Um, what this is going to be is it's just going to be like a... Uh, like the start of our walkway because right now honestly there's nothing too crazy in the nether besides like right here leads to a fortress that um that i need to lead myself to like there's some glowstone over there and some zong zombie pigment up there and this guy trying to shoot at me right here but you know eventually what we're going to do is we're going to have a path like kind of how we have in our estate right now look at that he's blowing up everything kind of how there's a path in our estate right now Oh, I'm out of fire resistance. I'm almost out of swiftness. How long have I been in the nether? Oh, what we'll came from the corner? Get our last potion of fire resistance. We got three minutes to check stuff out. But what I was saying is I want to put some paths through the nether. Like we have paths in our estate leading to the different things. So three minutes of exploration time isn't much. But we're going to see what we can find and see what we'll want to bring our pathways to. And can we hit the long shot? Oh, so far away, I don't want to hit the roof up here, but I think we can hit this guy. Ah, I hit the roof. How am I missing? Come on, get him. Now I got two of them shooting at me. This is the battle of the gas. Kill him. Long shot him. Ah. No, I shot the fireball back. Get him. Yeah, long shot. This guy's still alive. Double kill. <laughs> there we go. See why not have a little bit of fun, but I wasted right there. Oh, don't fall. I wasted a lot of my, um, a lot of my arrows and a lot of my potion time. How are there gas still here? And he just shot that out of his butt. He just shot a f I'm out of arrows. My last arrow was what killed that last double kill. But this guy's going to come down. Watch this. Oh, if I can reach you, you're going to die. Oh. Oh. Dead. 
getting a lot of TNT from these people or gunpowder so I can make my TNT to launch my cannon. But um, right now, I haven't explored anything other than around my portal and around my fortress. Okay, so there's quartz. Big pools of lava. I hate how the render distance is so small. We've got some glowstone right here. That's a good sign. Need some glowstone. It's right here for us. Gonna kill this guy. Oh, he just curb stomped the crap out of me right there. Getting some more magma cream so we can make some more potions. Should have made eight minute potions, but this is okay. You know, we're getting the magma cream to make up for it. And they're going in on me. And I think there's a gas still shooting at me, but I can't be for sure. A minute 19 left. So I want to see what's over here over this edge. Gas still shooting. Don't want to blow the floor out from underneath me. That would be bad. Gas over there. This is too dangerous. If I fall down, it's over for me. All right, this is where we long range shot at the other gas. There's, I saw some gunpowder up here. Nice. Okay, so over here, more lava pits. I'm not seeing anything too wild yet. Oh, whoa. A giant hole in the ground. Looks like it, uh, like a comet hole or something. That's cool. Oh, gas still spraying fireballs. What is this? We just looped around. Okay. We're back to the portal. How much time left? 41 seconds. Um... There's that. Let's go this way. Right now, it's, it's kind of looking like if I want to go any further into the nether, I have to cross an entire pit of lava. What am I doing? Why am I scaling the side of this? No! What am I doing right now? I'm so stupid. Oh. Okay. 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 So if we find anything over here, we can tunnel through this, uh, this wall. I think we'll lead back to the other side. Ooh. It's kind of neat. Glowstone right there. More stuff going on over there. I don't think it matters, though, because, you know, like I said, the fortress is back the other way. But this doesn't look too shabby. Let's go ahead and kill the zombie pigman. He's going to get wrecked. See if he can give us a gold nugget. No, he doesn't want to. All right. We'll head back through here. Oh, no. Don't tell me I have to scale my way back again. That's too sketchy. And I'm out of fire resistance. So here we go. We're going we're gonna to make a move, and we're going to try to do it fast. Oh, cool, little hole. Let's see where this leads to. Oh, it just points out here. That's, I hate, mm, that's such a bad feeling. When you're like that high up over that much lava, I hate that feeling so much. All right, let's try to scale this thing back. Ah, no, that's not the way. Oh, yeah, I have to get up here. Um, We'll come up here like this. All right, here we go, guys. This is it, moment of truth. I should probably get, uh, should probably get some cobblestone ready to build. Oh, that wasn't too bad coming back. That was a lot better. Okay, cool. We're back. And turn this corner. Oh, are they mad at me still? No, they're not mad at me. But let's go ahead and get the combo quad feed on the zombie pigmen. Now I can catch on fire, so I gotta watch out. All right, killed the zombie pigmen. They didn't give me anything good. They used to drop like glowstone and stuff, but nothing from them. Any magma creams for our last little stretch here? Nope. Okay. Let's head back. Oh, that was a cooked pork chop. I remember way back when this first came to Xbox, I used to drop like cooked pork chops. And whenever I got low on like food supply, I would just come to the nether and just grind out zombie pigmen kills. That was a lot of fun. All right, we're headed back. Uh, what would you guys say? That? Was that a successful nether trip? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I felt like it was pretty successful. I mean, I ended up getting um, a, a route. I, I got to look around in the nether for a bit. Spent about nine minutes in there, based on our levels. We wasted 40 arrows in there. Well, how'd I get arrows back? I must have picked one up. Uh, wasted about 35 to 40 arrows. So that's not a good sign. Uh, but hey, we didn't get any glowstone. We got a whole bunch of nether. We got some magma cream. I got a, I got a gold sword off one of those pigmen. I guess they did drop me something decent. So we got a gold sword out of it, plus four attack damage. I mean, it's not better than a wood sword, but hey, it works. And, uh, but we're back now. It was a, we lived, so I mean, it wasn't a complete waste because it didn't kill us. And what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Or in this case, wastes your time. But we did get that fort put up around our portal. And I'm not sure if I want to move the portal to this estate or if I want, like, a railroad track, uh, going back and forth. Um, I have some big plans with railroads and stuff like that coming in the future to this world and that might be part of it But we'll find out. But yeah, there you guys go. Look at us. We're decked now. We're super decked. We look in super hot 
and uh, we've got a super sick fort, and things are looking good here. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fire Power Plays. Don't forget to subscribe to join the Fire Nation. This fire is burning out, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.